Okay. Oh yeah, we still do. We still do. Yeah. Um, you know, it's uh, like I said, a transient area. Okay. We get lots of spirits just rolling through. I guess because of the energy. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple of years ago, I helped a couple that had rented a house just uh, over maybe uh, a mile over from me mm-hmm. okay. and they were in desperate need they had uh, something that was quite uh, nasty in there and it was making everybody sick mm-hmm. and one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is hiring people to cleanse your house i'm sorry guys sorry to blow this but it doesn't really work right? <laughs> it has to be people in the house uh, so yeah. i had to walk them through and uh it was weird because I had opened myself up to the spirit to try and oh, yeah. I, I actually connected to it. I can do that through my sleep only. Okay. Um, I'm not one of these ones that can do it um, yeah. while I'm awake. Right. I, I guess I have to be in a very quiet to, and I have to focus mm-hmm. on it. Anyways, um, this guy was a, a small, skinny, alcoholic, uh, 60-ish mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. And wrinkled wrinkled face and just nasty oh, he yeah. didn't want them in them. Yeah. he was yeah he kept showing me things like this oh <laughs> like he sorry, an old pervert he's a dirty, no. dirty, yeah. dirty old dirty bird. old yeah. Yeah. yeah oh gross yeah but yeah. not that wasn't for sex it was just like after you know like mm-hmm. yeah, 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 kind yeah. Of thing. Yeah. he just wanted like to that. get somebody's goat is oh, what it yeah. was yeah he wanted he to stir the pot to people to leave yeah. So when I went into this house to help them, first I took a walk about, and I could feel the energy was off in this house. It was bad. It was very dark in there, and yet it was a lovely home. Like it was For bad. Sure. It was just. It was yeah. Um, and I entered the garage, and what did I find? Old iron. They had been walking the tracks and picking up things that were just like. Oh, oh why? No, no. no. Oh. Yeah. And I said, "You got to return that." Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. That leaves the house today. You cannot bring For sure. things like that into it. People go and commit suicide on that track. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. or get Once accidentally killed on the they track. I understood what I meant. I said, you cannot bring that old iron in here. Right. Oh, um, so anyways, I did a preliminary stage just to protect myself more than anything. For sure. But then I, then I walked them through the process. And it took us four times oh. to get this thing to work. And... Literally, it was mom doing it, mm-hmm. and dad was sitting on the offset, and I said, have you guys been at odds because of this? Because I'm sensing something here, because I'm an empath, and I, I said, I'm sensing something here that you guys just aren't together on this. Right. And I said, I can tell you right now, for your children's safety, you need to do this together, exactly. because you won't be able to get this out unless you guys work together. They held hands, they had a few words, mm-hmm. they took the sage, mm-hmm. and, the, and that fourth time worked. Uh. It worked because they had to do it together. Right. And you know what? And they said, this is our home. This is the home of the living. And they just went through the whole house. And my husband had been standing out the front door. Yeah. And he felt it leave. Oh. And oh, it, it was very hard to get that guy out. Yeah. Um, he was not a very nice person. And, and this is the thing I need to stress, I think, because some really aren't here to do any harm. For sure. Say, right. But they can hurt even inadvertently. Mm-hmm. But some are actually yeah. actively not good right. <laughs> yeah. and these are the ones that you know you totally have to watch out for right mm-hmm. so having said that that's what i did uh, for them mm-hmm. uh, and then of course we've had a number of experiences outside the house especially my husband because he's very uh, very sensitive and there's this one time he was coming down the ramps with the quad and he got about halfway down, and all of a sudden he felt two hands on his back. Oh, oh. Like pushing him back, stabilizing him. And oh. looked, and he was off. He was oh, just about dumping the quad oh, on his side. Oh, helped him. Oh, yeah, okay. He was, yeah, yeah. He oh, was helpful. Mm-hmm. We don't know where that came from, but there was a couple of times uh, that were kind of similar. That was the biggest one. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and then, of course, we've had the activity over at the shop, which is about two right. kilometers. It's the last road in town. Okay. Um, and I sent you a video. Yes. That yes. Yeah. That is did you guys pretty freaky, freaky man. We, we didn't put it. A... Did you hear? We can hear, hear something, something? Yeah. like a shuffling or something. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. There Why was, there? Uh, the shuffling. Why there that one little spot? Words. 
So uh, my office manager blew that up on her TV and turned it up really loud, and she was able to get some words out of there. Oh. So if you want to try that. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never heard the words, but uh, what we were... definitely uh, had other no, weird things occur there. But that me. one we actually caught on camera, which was yeah, that's pretty surreal. Freaky. You blow that one up, you can even see there was activity inside the truck. Okay. Oh, okay. If you look, I know you're only looking at the swirling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's also stuff going in on inside that truck. So we're oh, we're gonna awesome. we're gonna re- we're gonna post the video when when this interview comes out in yeah. about two weeks, three. Actually, there's St. Patrick's Day on Tuesday, so you kind of got pushed aside. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, great! We always celebrate St. Patrick's Day. That's good. <laughs> uh, look at the Irish. I know. Look at the Irish. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, like so, we have to do St. Patrick's Day. So your your interview will be probably in about uh, three weeks, right? So, in saying that. <laughs> I'll, I'll post the video and the pictures about the same time if you're okay with that. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Great. So, uh, and I I guess you guys must know about the Woodridge Ghost, right? The, the oh, I know about the Woodridge about. Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stuff. Love it. A lot of stuff in those lands, you know, like, I, I, t- I firmly believe, like, it's not just human spirits. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of everything. You know, I've been watched myself. I was telling my dad, you know, when... when he was still alive when we started this podcast thing and he was all for it. He's like, Oh yeah, definitely. You got to get the word out and stuff and people have to know these things. And I said, well, that's what I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. And you know, I even said to him, you know, when, when I was a kid in Woodridge, cause he had had a house out there when I was a, you know, a kid and we'd stay there on weekends and stuff. And I said, I'd go play in the woods by myself cause I was an only child. Firmly believe I was being watched all the time. Yeah. And that wasn't how, no, why? I never, alone here ever no i still Mm -mm. i go walking and i go out there lots i never ever feel alone no i don't feel uncomfortable however no no exactly it's not a threatening you just feel something you feel exactly. like I feel yeah. the presence of other people and so almost like maybe even being protected when yeah. I'm saying being yeah. watched. I don't feel threatened. I feel more protective than anything. Oh, yeah. the interesting thing. That's what I'm talking about with my husband. Exactly. Uh, his experiences have been oh, protective hard, um, you know, watching out for him because they know he works hard here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the resident uh, spirits that don't leave know him quite well because he's acknowledged them and stuff like that. For sure. Uh, and, they leave them alone for the most part, but we believe they've also been protecting. Yeah. So I don't think that works for everybody, but I think if they, if they like you and you, who you are and things like that, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. So you were saying before you're a Catholic pagan? Uh, no, I'm Celtic pagan. Celtic no, pagan. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. That's cool. And how long have you been practicing? Um, well, it's kind of funny. It's gone through sort of a bit basic stuff, like, uh, I used to consider myself an atheist growing up. Okay. Um, and I was actually afraid of everything. Um, but in the family, we are, have always been uh, healers and empaths and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it just sort of naturally, I started to understand the world around me a lot better and uh, had enough experiences. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so when my daughter passed away too, she actually she's the one who taught me that there was way more going on around me than than what I thought, yeah. and it was very interesting. Um, and I wrote down those experiences. Then when I was healed enough, that's when she came and kissed me goodbye, Aww, and so she sorry. actually turned off the TV in the room when she did it. And she, as she was backing away, I was waking up. Oh. And I could see her, and she had aged and everything. Mm-hmm. It was very oh. interesting. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, that's okay. It's, I know. Uh, death is a part of life. Yeah. Um, but she taught me that there was other things out there. Um, but I realized that, you know, that journey was going to take me a while. And mm-hmm. I always knew my path is, you know, a very organic, um, grounded person, earth-based. Uh, and I started to understand um, what I was seeing around myself. Right. It's not that I didn't see it before. It was just that I didn't recognize what it was, right? So mm-hmm. I started to embrace that, embrace my family and my origins. And that's um, when I basically started on the path to finding myself. And, you know, like I said earlier, we were talking about women finding themselves. Mm-hmm. And this was yeah. a journey for me. And I actually, um, I wrote um a part of a book i did a lot of investigative work on on local plants and what they do and the interactions and the contravening and how how you know how to make tinctures and all of those things and it just became a part of our life for sure oh, good, good. Uh, 
to honor those things and right. to embrace those things. And I've raised our children this way. I've always raised them to be open anyway, right. um, yeah. because I believe this is a personal journey. And I have never said to my children, you know, don't do that or don't believe in that. Yeah. I've always said, you know, this is your journey. Right. If this includes, you know, a Christian um, path, then, right. then that's fine. Mm-hmm. We've always embraced our children and their quest. So, you know, it's always been a lot like that for us. Right. Um, we've never had an instance where we said to them, hey, well, you shouldn't, you know, because, A, it's a part of growing, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So, and they should be allowed to grow and develop into who they're going to be. So, experience and they've all is. had their own kind of special take on it, and some are still developing. And I, and I believe that that'll continue their whole life. So. Yeah. For sure. No, it's not. It's not a short-term thing, right? No, no exactly. God, no. You never stop learning. No, never stop developing. No, no, exactly. So, getting back to your shop, like with the um, the video that you captured, I shouldn't say captured. Yeah, you know, yeah. took, yeah. saw, witnessed with the shop that's itself. That's our that's our security cameras. They notify us when there's activity. It came in. I can't remember what time at night it was. I, I it was in Four, the evening. It was four thirty-two a.m. Yeah, I it see was in the corner. I have it. Netflix that night. I think it was a weekend. Um, anyway, so for me, what happened was I got notified on my phone that there was activity, and it was unusual, of course, for the time of day or night, rather. And then, um, so I started recording. Yeah. No. I saw something. Yeah. I mm-hmm. saw something. I mm-hmm. didn't know what I saw because it was on my phone, right? So it was yeah. really small. Right. Uh, but I could see there was something going on, and we went there. Because uh, we didn't know what was going on, and just you know, so as you're aware, we do go armed. So that's right, yeah. exactly. We are watching. Yeah, <laughs> we are watching. <laughs> Anyways, so you know, we got there. Nothing. You, you know, like I couldn't really see very much of anything. There was no wind. Right. Um. You know, went back and then. We continued to have activity all through that night. Oh. Um, you know, and I know like even my, one of my staff members who normally works from the office who has been working from home, she's had several unnerving encounters with noises and things within the house and she's gotten uh, words and, <laughs> oh. you know, and she's she's a little more worried and, and scared about it, but I don't believe it's, I don't know. It's tough to say. I don't believe that it's something that um, is there that's going to hurt right. you. Mm-hmm. But the house was moved onto that land. So this came from Steinbach, this house. Okay. And a builder moved it onto this land and put it there and then renovated it. And we bought it. That's okay. basically what we did for the shop. So it's an actual house. Uh-huh. And then the shop that you see in there, I actually had that built and moved onto the property. Okay. And we literally have only owned it for about a year and a half. So... It's pretty interesting, um, the kind of stuff that's gone on there. And you can definitely hear stuff out of the normal kind of house sounds, you know yeah, what I mean? Sure. And things sort of happen there. I haven't warded the property yet. Uh, my husband did fall and break his back there, actually, <gasps> oh, after a well, storm. That's pretty bad. Yeah, oh, my God. Under him. Yeah. So there has been some mischievous accidents. Um oh. Uh, you know, that are, you know, could be environment because it was wet and the ladder slipped, right? Uh-huh, okay. um, he did recover from that, thankfully. Oh, yeah. um, oh, thank goodness. But so we have had kind of lots of weird kind of uneasy stuff, but I haven't, like I said, uh, done any saging there yet. I haven't warded the property yet. Okay. And I think it's because we don't really know what, like, I don't really know what we're dealing with there yet. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not sure what it is. It's kind of interesting. Like, is that uh, animal spirit? Like, what right. is that? Yeah, right? right? I know. Mm-hmm. It could be anything, right? Um, it almost feels to me like it is. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel human, but yet my office manager said she got words out of those tapes. So mm-hmm. um, there were more than one of them, but due to space on our computers and stuff, I yeah. have actually deleted some of that stuff. Okay. Right. Um, so that is one of the ones that's remaining that's pretty clear. Yeah. So for words, what did she, was she able to pick something out for a word or? Yeah. One of them was help. Oh. Ooh. One of them was help. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> probably, oh. probably not one of my first words I would want to hear. No, sure. No. No, no. That's why we said we don't, 
really know what we're dealing with there. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, I feel like the regular standard um, ones out here, like the old man is a